This is Tyrone's reply to Judy Ann. Don't none of these girls like the way they look? I don't get it. Guys don't have that problem. Not the guys I know. Would somebody clue me in? Now we're going to hear from Lupe again. We met Lupe earlier, so we are going to hear from Lupe again. Judy Ann tapped me on the shoulder this morning and passed me a note real quick before Mr. Ward could see. It was from Leslie. Are you okay? It said. I turned and flashed her my okay smile. The smile was for real. I'm fine today. But last night? Forget it. I broke up with Marco and I was a mess. It was so silly. I've been planning to break up with him for weeks. I mean, I hardly ever see him anyway. Plus, I've been thinking, if I'm ever going to have a baby, I need to find a better father than Marco, somebody who's got time for me. I don't want my baby and me to be alone like Gloria and Angel. She's got it harder than I thought. Still, I wasn't in no hurry to break up with Marco because that would make it official. Lupe Algarin is alone. I can't hardly breathe thinking about it. I busted up with Marco over the phone, which is good because right after I hung up, I felt this big hole rip right inside of me and I started crying like little Rosa does when she's hungry and her bottle's empty and her mom has just left the room. Once I calmed down, I called Leslie. But as soon as I heard her voice, the tears started coming again. I'm sorry, I said, trying to hide my sniffles. I shouldn't have called. Lupe, what's wrong? I don't want to bother you. You're not bothering me. Anyway, that's what friends are for. Now, what happened? I told her about Marco and how I left him and how he didn't even seem to care that much and how I was all alone now. She was quiet for a minute. Then she said, Lupe, sounds to me like you were already alone. I know, but never mind. It's okay. You're not really alone anyhow. You have friends. You have me. Yeah, I guess. Leslie said she feels lonely sometimes too. She told me about how it was right after her mom died. I really listened because she doesn't talk about her mom much. She said that after the funeral and even months after she moved in with her grandmother, her world felt so empty and hollow. She could hold it at one end and ring it like a bell. It's better now, she said. We must have talked for an hour. I can't remember half of what we talked about except that Leslie said friends can be like familia. Only she pronounced it more like famalia. It took me a minute to figure out what she meant. Anyway, she was right. So I don't have a boyfriend now. So what? Neither does Janelle or Gloria or Leslie. We have each other. And maybe we can all be alone together. Oops, sorry, I didn't show you the picture of Lupe again. And we are going to her open mic, El Noche by Lupe Algarin. I stand out in the cold, El Noche, and I both too lonely for whispers. Only the wind shatters the silence. I've been here before, choking in solitude. But this time, when all the earth is hollow as a bell, I hold one end, ring it, and you come. A pale-skinned surprise. A friend. And this is Tyrone's reply to Lupe. Her voice is so soft. I close my eyes every time she reads, trying to hold in the sound a little longer. I'm glad Mr. Ward asked her to read her piece over again. She says it like a whisper. But it's powerful stuff. That's one thing these ladies do know how to do. Be soft and strong at the same time. Like my mom. <laughs> 